So this is a follow-up video to my extreme Fresa Coke challenge where I had an ice cream and sculled a can of Coke and watched as a Fresa kept my blood sugar level in check. After I uh, filmed that video and uploaded it, a few people got in touch with me and said that they thought it would have been more impressive if I had done the experiment without the ice cream. They thought that the fat content in the ice cream might have delayed my metabolization of the Coke. Um, and it's important to remember that we were recording for 90, 95 minutes or so, and my blood sugar levels still throughout the whole period were in check. They barely rose at all. So it's, yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. Um, but this time I'm going to be doing it again, and I won't do, I won't have the ice cream, and instead of the Coke, I will be having this, which is True Plus Fast Acting Glucose. Uh, I purchased this directly from Diabetes Australia. It's Got the fastest glucose release possible to prevent rapid unconsciousness, coma, and death. Um, yeah, let's see. My blood sugar level, what is it now? So it's 4.8 currently. Uh, I haven't had any of Fresa for the past nearly five hours. And I've only got my basal insulin in me, basal insulin in me at the moment, and I haven't eaten as well. Uh, so, and the same deal with this video, we'll, we'll record it all in one take and speed up the boring bits and just show you the glucose readings in real time. Uh, but you can watch the full video at the links below. It's the unedited version, which started from maybe about 20, 25 minutes ago, just in case anyone thought that there might have been something suspicious happening before this video started. Um, yeah, cool. So for this one, given how insanely fast acting this stuff is, and it's twice as fast as Coke, I think Coke's got about, in Australia, Coke's got about a 53, I think it's about 53 glycemic index. This should have 100. I think it's much, much quicker. So I'll have the Afresa first, then I'll be having the green dose, the large dose. When you take a Fresa, there's a, there's a little tiny bit here. It actually doesn't matter. Uh, there's almost always some trace bits of insulin there. That's fine. Um, the manufacturer says don't stress about that. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, um, a couple of things that I wanted to mention. Um, oh, well, I've, I've taken the Fresa now, and I wouldn't be doing this ever before. I would never have a Fresa before taking my meal, and I wouldn't recommend anyone doing it. It's not particularly safe. And it's not how a Fresa was originally designed to be used, but then sculling these for no particular reason other than as an experiment also wasn't how they were designed to be used. So I think that's cool. Uh, and part of the reason I had Coke in the first place was to highlight the things that a Fresa allows diabetics like myself to eat that we couldn't eat before. And included in that is, ah uh, yes. Oh, thanks David, starting the timer. Um, included in that is things like fresh fruit. It was partly symbolic, so there was no intention other than that. Um, I don't think that there's really many people missing the days when they used to smash back these True Plus Fast Acting Glucose drinks, so that was why I chose a Coke in the first place. So my blood is currently 4.6. And one last thing before I, I drink this. A few people yeah, have said so the ice cream might have delayed the metabolization of the Coke, but if that had been the case, in theory, my blood sugar levels would have gone down as a result. I had eight units of a Fresa and then drank the Coke, but yeah, my blood sugar levels didn't go down. Over the course of the experiment, they actually went up slightly, so I'm not sold on that theory at all, but here we go. So, listen for... The seal being broken. There we go. These have 15 grams in them each, so that equals 45 all up, which is slightly more than 
Oh, which is slightly more than a Coke as well. And I'm also going to use this Roche dipstick test to show you that they are very high sugar and they're not, they are genuine basically. So this is what it is, it's Roche test. There's a range of things on there. The one that we're really interested on is the, is the glucose. So this is supposed to be done, this is supposed to take about 60 seconds. I'll just line this up first. The glucose on this chart, which you'll see in a second, goes up to one gram per deciliter. And already this is practically there. So it's supposed to take 60 seconds and it's not far off one gram. So it's insanely sugary. Do you want to hold that up? Cool. Here we go. Cheers. Wow. Whoa. That is very sweet. Now we wait. So 7.9, which I actually know how much that is in the other units. Let's see. So it's 140, 142, which is outside of non-diabetic ranges. So it is higher than it should be, but after what I just drank, that is an extraordinary outcome. And um, yeah, and really, I probably shouldn't have waited for 10 minutes uh, until I had the drink. I should have had it closer to the Afrezza because I probably lost out on some of the key time uh, in the Afrezza dose that would have helped keep my blood sugar levels down. It probably would have, the, well, the second phase, I think, is, is what I lost out on and you, in you, that one. You, yeah. yeah. You didn't need your blood sugar levels. Uh, and I also, yeah, I didn't need my blood sugar levels to actually go down um, at the start, which they did, which was really just wasting time. They should, I should have just timed it better. So it was focused on keeping my blood sugar levels in check with that dose. Um, yeah, this, this test also isn't just about the Afrezza, it's about the Freestyle Libre as well, which, I mean, I got amazing results from that machine then in tests. It, it was very clear and you know, there were no unpredictable results and also it gave, you know, it gave reliable results much faster than Dexcoms do. And that's, that all comes in addition to not having to test my blood sugar with a finger prick up for the past two weeks, which is an incredible thing for a, a type 1 diabetic to have, um, to not have to do rather. And it's an amazing thing to have happen in the first time in my 25 years with the, um, with the disease. So it's, I guess in summing up, um, I, I want you to show your endos this video, if possible, and say this is what happened after this guy just drank 45 grams of intense sugar, um, emergency glucose, which is designed only in really dire circumstances, and he barely got out of diabetic, of non-diabetic range. Um, and I understand why some people are a little bit, I guess, cagey about a Fraser to start with, because it challenges so much of what... Um, and this was the, the same for me when I first heard about it. It challenged so much of what my understanding of diabetes was. And I showed this video, or showed the, the Coke video to my dad, and who is a doctor and a diabetic himself. And his first response was, what a load of rubbish. So it's like, 
And that, that was my dad. So, you, you know, it, it, it absolutely challenges, um, it challenges conventional thinking. And, and I get that. Um, so yeah, show your endocrinologist and have a chat with them about it and hey, maybe it'll work for you. So this is a quick follow-up video to that experiment to drive home a point that I didn't there that I should have, which is that there really is no scenario where you should have a Fresa before you eat, as that experiment showed. The only time I would do that was if my blood sugar levels were out of range, which they weren't there, they were perfect. So for the non-diabetics there, by having it 10 minutes earlier, I lost 10 minutes of effective time um, of blood glucose lowering time. And that is the opposite to what would have happened if it was a regular fast acting insulin or one of the other fast acting insulins, which is I would have gained 10 minutes by having it earlier. Um, but I should follow up now as well and talk you through what happened afterwards. So as soon as I finished, well, my blood was 7.9 or 140 odd, as you saw, I had a small dose, a blue dose, and it brought me perfectly back into range, um, which is 4.1 millimole per litre or um, about 70, 71 or 72 um, in, the, in the other range. So perfect. Brought me back down quickly and I've hovered there since. So yeah, a raging success really. Thanks for watching.